What you're looking at is the Deepwater Horizon Macondo well located in Canyon 252 in the Gulf of Mexico. This is bizarre. I was watching the um, live camera feeds and they were shining a high intense bright light on the well. And uh, I believe that they were using that uh, some type of nuclear device they've been working on where they can actually uh, use the radiated impulses without it actually exploding. And I think that um, the latch on the inside to unlock the blow preventer had begun to transform the metal. So they used that thing to melt the latch. See, that's, I believe that they're showing the latch right there. Because they couldn't get it unlatched at first. And then, um, But I think that the radiation has affected the camera feed at that close of a range. And that's just my hypothesis of what I have seen thus far. But something is affecting the camera feed in a major way. It's almost like the ROV is under attack because when it breaks out of the sea it's showing the bottom of the riser pipe down at the sea floor. And then it, then it shows this. Look at this thing land right there. Look at that. This all began happening at 1.06 a.m. on November 6, 2010. using that metal tank that has those two hoses connected to block the view. They have other cameras connected to this ROV where they're able to see, but look at that square thing coming up out of the sea floor right there. Watch it transform into, it looks like the head of a lizard. Look at this. Look at it transforming. Look at its nose. Ears. Look at that. Look at that area right there. It looks like a face. That looks like the head of a lizard. That pushed up through the seafloor.
Right there, that looks like a face. Look at that. Right there. See the eye, the nose, and the mouth? Put a little light on that. They're looking at it. Trust me, they see that. Well, they're hip to what's going on now. He puts this back under there, and, and then the thing goes crazy again. Watch. There's a camera on the end of his arm. Look at the blue line. Where does that blue stuff come from? And the camera goes crazy again, but look at the pictures that this thing is getting. It shows some bizarre stuff, man. It's like something's attacking it. It's crazy. seafloor in that area was all tore up like there was a huge fight as this thing backed away. There was a lot of gouges and look at that right there. Then they rip the blow up preventer off the pipe. Look at this. Releasing all that stuff that's been incubating in there. It's been incubating and morphing and transforming just all types of creatures and germs and bacteria and chemicals and poisons. That blow up preventer is five stories tall. And it can, has the capacity to hold a lot of stuff. I mean, I'm watching it live right now as I'm filming this. It's 2.32 p.m. November 6, 2010, and I'm watching it live, 
and still it's pouring stuff out the bottom and the blowout preventer is transforming into something um, all types of crazy stuff is going on and I hope that people that are able to record it are I mean go to the cameras right now and start recording if you haven't been or if you're not said moving rig to safe area and the opposite of that is unsafe area look at all this stuff coming out of there just all types of different creatures and poison and on a massive scale they just released it in the Gulf just ripped the blowout preventer off of there and released everything that's been in there incubating for all these weeks I mean that's a plague in the making the blowout preventer steel and material is transforming and melting look at that all different colors look at that red stuff coming soon to a beach near you oh my goodness oh man I would get out, man. I would, if I had to leave naked and barefoot, I would have been up out of there. I mean, there's no containing it. The genie's out of the bottle. They played one too many times with the chemistry set, not knowing what they're doing. I mean, from everything that I have seen up till now, it looks like they're intentionally trying to incubate this stuff. I haven't seen them do anything yet to try and stop any of it. Why would they rip the blowout preventer off of there and release all of this stuff in the Gulf? They have just made the situation a thousand times worse. They should have sealed that blowout preventer from both ends and sealed all that stuff inside of it. But they have released it in the Gulf and it is going to mutate and transform. You see that cross? You see that cross on the top of that up there? This is some evil, evil stuff that's going on here. Look at all that stuff. It's just pouring out of there. I hope you all are safe. There's much more. I've recorded the whole thing. Um, I need help recording this stuff. Go to the live cameras now and start recording. Godspeed. I'll talk to you again soon.